So once you download this template, you should get the zip file. Now just unzip it and you will get this folder over here. Now just open up that and you will find these subfolders inside it. Now here, if you open up this mogul file, you will find all of these eight different modular scenes. Now you have to install these mogul files into Premiere Pro, which I will show you in a moment. But before that, if you want to use the same font that I've used, then I will recommend you to copy and paste this font link to your browser, download and install it. Okay, now let's see how to install the mogul files. So open up the mogul files over here and open up the Premiere Pro and then just make sure to go to Windows and make sure this essential graphics is checked and you are in this browse tab and then just come over here and select all of these mogul files and drag and drop in this section and they will be installed over here. Now I'm going to delete all of these layers and I'm going to start fresh. Now I can just drag and drop any design you like in the timeline and it will be updated. Now you can just play back over here like so. So in the same step you can drag and drop any scenes you like over here and create your slides so. Now here is a quick tip. So if you want to preview this template with faster preview, I will recommend you to just right click on this preview window and just, just go to post resolution to 1 by 4 or 1 by 8. At least do it 1 by 4 and the playback resolution also to 1 by 4. In that way the quality will be a bit lower but the playback will be much faster so the editing process will be faster. But don't worry, once you render, the render will be absolutely clear. This is just for the fast editing workflow. Now let's get back to this edit tab. So select it and come back to edit tab. Over here you will find all of these settings. So at first you will find this media over here. So now you can import your media into your media bean and just drag and drop whatever media you want to apply over here. Now as you can see, it has been added over here. If you want to adjust the position and scale, you can do this from here or you can just double click on this thumbnail and it will be opened up over here and now with this slider control you can move the position rotation whatever you want so i like this option very much then you can just close this one and it will be updated now once you're done just close this one and then you'll find the media opacity so by default uh, there is a background media so if you just turn completely up to 100 in the background as you can see the same image is applied the opacity is controlling that background image like so after that you will find all of these text placeholders so you can just open up that and you can type your text whatever you want like so and you can change the font you can change position scale tracking etc in the same step you can edit all of the text visible on screen and at the end you will find these color settings where you can change the text color the media frame color and background color vignette color as well as you can control some of the slight leak particles opacity so that's it for this tutorial and all of these scenes have same kind of settings, the media, text and color. So in the same step you can just stack multiple scenes and create your slideshow very easily.